please let us know if you like that. We'll start with Trevor Thompson. Last this morning, you said you expected to see two ornery teams out there and wanted to see some sense of urgency from your team. Uh, was it what you expected? Well, I, I definitely saw a sense of urgency from our team. I thought I thought we got a little bit of a slow start. Um, uh, and then after, once we got playing, I thought we were play, I thought we played a pretty good hockey game. I thought we we did a lot of things right. I thought we we gapped in our track hard, which I thought kind of allowed us to take the game to them a little bit. We didn't give them much space at all. Um, I thought we were, uh, I thought we battled hard. I thought we competed uh, from a physical standpoint. So there was a lot of good things there. And you were able to uh, mount some offense today here too. Uh, how important is that as you take off uh, on the trip? Yeah, no, you know, you come out of the break and, and you're, you're one goal and one goal. Confidence matters. And I think, um, you know, when you're able to get six, it, it, it helps guys. It helps them feel good about themselves. It helps the team feel good about themselves. And um, and I think that, you know, confidence can breed to more offense. So let's hope that happens. Uh, Giovanni Smith made an imprint on the game before he had to leave. But what were your thoughts on uh, the hit, the call, and um, what ensued there? Well, I thought it was an eventful two minutes of ice time for sure. You know, uh, obviously in a fight uh, uh, and then the hit and then, then he's out. You know, I, I, like Wes McCall is a really good ref, one of the best in the league. He had a chance to review it and, and uh, he felt that it warranted the, the five. So, um, you know, I think, you know, I've, I've stood up here and said, I think that, you know, some, some, there's been some dangerous hits this year that needed to be called that haven't been called. And, you know, I, 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 um, so I can't sit here and say like, if they call that fine, I just want those other ones called, you know what I mean? Like uh, we got to make sure uh, obviously the players want to be protected in those situations. Um, so I haven't had a chance to re review the hit, but I do put a lot of faith in our, in our refs and certainly in West McCauley. And uh, what would you say to uh, Giovanni? In Keep going. Point? He was good. Like, he, he fought, he, he hit. Um, I didn't think it was, you know, certainly wasn't something where I was like, oh, Gio, what are you doing? You know, not at all. Um, I actually thought in the, in, the, in the little bit he played, he, he played with poise, he played strong, he battled hard. So I was happy with those uh, couple minutes I used Thanks, Black. Let's go to Lane St. James. Yeah, Jeff, you talk a lot about how you guys need everybody to be play their A game. Was this more of, of uh, more players playing to their best tonight? Yeah, I thought so. You know, we talked again before the game just about the importance of the game and making sure that we, you know, to a man, we need to play our best hockey. And, and ultimately, that's what it takes as much as anything else. And, and uh, I thought to a man, we, we, you know, we played pretty good hockey. I thought there was a number of guys that played really good. You know, I think lost in this um you know Rass played a really good game um as good a game as he's played in a while you know obviously suits had the two goals he played good but I thought a number of guys really stepped up and played better hockey you know we got some guys coming out of long layoffs with COVID a uh, guy like Adam Ernie you know I don't think the first two games back were his best but I thought he played way better tonight um I think Lark's been really good out of the break so you know I thought Nick Letty I mean Nick Letty was off uh, I think I don't know 16 days or something like that and I thought he came in and played a pretty good game so I thought a number of guys played good hockey just how important was that Dylan's goal? Because they had just made it 4-2, and you guys came with that pushback and grabbed momentum. Yeah, no, that's a huge goal. It's a huge goal at a huge moment. Uh, you know, it goes 4-2, you got a hockey game. I mean, at 4-2, you know, anything happens, they score it's 4-3, and now you're sitting in a game uh, trying to grind a game away that you should have put, put, put the other team away. So I thought that was a huge goal. Lastly, just how do you bottle this and take it with you to California on the road where things have been kind of tough for you guys? Yeah, you know, I think um, I'd say a couple of things. Every night's a challenge in this league and we got to play as good as possible. Um, you know, I thought defensively we played good against Wash. We didn't create credit enough, but, you know, defensively played good. I didn't think we were good enough against Boston. We talked about that. I thought tonight we did some things that, that are, that, that'll help you be good on the road. I thought we, we played a fairly smothering style from a defensive standpoint in terms of not giving space. And I thought we laid pucks in behind and went and got them. And those are two important things if you're going to win on the road. So, you know, I think, you know, hopefully we're continuing to grow and learn as a hockey team what it takes for us to be successful home and away, but specifically on the road. Thank you. And Sarkhan? Yeah, Jeff, uh, it had been, uh, I think, 100 games since you scored a shorthanded goal. Uh, during that uh, that five-minute penalty, uh, you did a good job killing it early. And did that Does that provide, like, a little confidence uh, when you're killing that well to, to maybe take a couple of chances and, and uh, move up ice? Yeah, I would say, first off, that's a critical moment in the game. You know, you got a five-minute penalty. I think, to your point, the the longer you can go with a good kill there, the less momentum they get, the more momentum you get. If, if they, you know, started that 
power play with a lot of chances for it makes it hard on, on your, you know, they're building momentum then. So I thought our kill did a really good job and not giving them much. Um, I don't think it was necessarily a matter of uh, taking chances. I think what happens on power plays is, um, you know, you, everybody's in some kind of umbrella type set where, you know, guys are going towards the cage. And so if you can create turnovers off block shots or those types of situations, you can get rushes. And, and you know, for whatever reason, we haven't scored any shorthanded goals, but uh, not to say we haven't had any chances. Um, I don't know if we've had a plethora, but we, you know, I think we've had some chances. So it was great. Those are, you know, it's obviously a huge moment in the game and it went our way. And uh, Bertuzzi, uh, he's on a bit of a scoring surge here. He seems to, to score goals in bunches after uh, going through, a, I think, a nine or 10 game dry spell there. What do we think is the key for him during stretches like this? It seems like he plays with a, gains a lot of confidence. I would just say that's the, the key for everybody. You know, I just think when you get up, opportunities to, to to gain confidence it helps you and, and you know I don't I don't think of Bert as a uh, he may be a streaky scorer but I don't think of him that way because his game's pretty consistent in terms of how he approaches it so you know I think when Bert's around the net um, when Bert gets pucks in behind he's got opportunities to create lots of offense and, and so certainly if he gets hot and, and he's confident we're, we're a, a better hockey team the better our best players play. Thanks Jeff. Yep. Ted Colton. Hey Jeff, just curious about the move putting Raz on the wing on that line. I mean, what was what was the thought process? What you guys, why did you guys think that could be effective that way? Well, what I would say is, you know, like I think Ross all season long has competed extremely hard, has worked extremely hard. He's very, very driven to be a, a, a great player. Um, there's tons of things I've been happy with. I think he's had some defensive lapses at times at center, and so a little bit I wanted to take a little bit of pressure off him tonight uh, give him the opportunity to play wing uh, be hard at the net be physical um, you know it's hard to be uh, constantly on the net when you're when you're a center because you're thinking about getting back lots you know so and that's one of his best attributes offensively um, you know and it also gave Joe Valino then a, a look up the lineup which we wanted to do as well so it kind of it kind of worked uh, in our favor that way um, you know I don't know what's going to happen here Carter Rowney left the game so I don't know where he's at from a health standpoint uh you know, if he's if he's out, uh, we may we may end up moving Ras back to the center position. But um, uh, you know, I thought it was good just to free him up a little bit. That was a thought process. For, Z for Zadina, is it just just a chance to hit the reset button a little bit? Well, yeah, you know, I, I guess what happens is um, uh, you, when, when you want to insert somebody in the lineup, you got to take somebody out, and you know, it's honestly sometimes as simple as that. So then you got to make decisions and. Um, you know, I think what, what Philip wants to do is put himself so he's not in the mix of players that we're talking about who goes out. And, and there's, a, there's a group of guys that, that we have conversations about and try to make the best decision. And ultimately, if you don't want to come out, put yourself so you're not in the mix. You know, we don't talk about that about with, with Tyler Bertuzzi or Dylan Larkin um, because of, of what they've established themselves as players. So, you know, I don't think it ever hurts a guy every one, you know, once in a while either to, to do what you said, hit the reset button, um, you know, kind of take some some pressure off and just go get it then, you know. So I, I when, when you know, Z gets back in the lineup, um, you know, I'm hoping he can come back uh, charged and playing real good hockey. Sounds good. Thanks for this. Yep. Max Bowman. I know you like what he was doing early in the year. Mm -hmm. like, what is there anything you've seen different from him? I'm trying to think of the timing of it, but you know, we were on the road trip. I think it was Montreal, Boston, Buffalo. I think Toronto, Montreal, Boston, Buffalo. He, he didn't, he was not playing great in that stretch. And, and since we got back from Buffalo, um, he's played way better. You know, I thought he played really good early, then he went through a stretch where he wasn't playing good. Um, you know, I talked to him a little bit about it. I, it you know, sometimes it's just that mental uh, confidence, you know, and and, um, and and kind of gathering yourself and, and uh, finding ways to, to get your confidence back going. And I honestly think it's as simple as that. I don't think he ever is a player that that does a whole bunch of things wrong. I mean, he, he plays the right way. Um, he doesn't cheat for offense. He's a he's a he's a good player all the time. But but I think confidence, you know, I think he just you know, for whatever reason, cleared his mind up and, and kind of just got his confidence back and he's played really good ever since. How much, I mean, I know you've tried this with a couple different guys on their line, but for him and Fabry to have a guy with the size and muscle that Rass does, what does he Well, that was that was one of the things, you know, I should have said that with Rass. Uh, 
it, 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 you know, we've tried to, we've wanted some strength on that line, some, some size on that line, uh, both Fabs and, and Rats, or sorry, Fabs and Suits are light, you know, and it's just the reality of it. And they play, listen, Fabs plays as hard as anybody, um, but you can't make up mass, you know, body mass is body mass. And, and um, you know, and so, you know, I think Rats gives them that. It gives them some heaviness there. Now, we didn't get enough uh, of a chance to do it for as long as we would have liked because, you know, obviously it got a little disjointed throughout the game, both from, you know, Smitty got a penalty or Smitty got kicked out. Uh, a lot of power play penalty kills, and so it's just hard. But but I thought when they played together, they were really effective. And and I don't know that we'll be able to keep it that way, depending on again, um, you know how, how uh, Rounds' injury is. But uh, it gives you know I thought it was a good uh, a good start for them playing together. Thanks. Yep. All right, those are all the questions we had tonight for Coach Blashell. Thanks everyone for joining us.